This is the Transformers Legacy Cog or Red Cog version. It's the exact same Cog figure we got from the Siege line, except that he's done in this red, gray, and black uh, motif or color palette, color schematic. I wasn't really interested with this figure. The only thing that really sparked my interest with this figure is the weaponizer pack it came with. And boy, does he have a lot of weapons. We'll get to that in a little while. So this COGS weapons pack includes his original blaster done in this uh, gunmetal gray uh, paint, black plastic, but painted gunmetal gray. Comes with this, I think it's his Ultra Magnus's gun. I can't be too sure. Siege Ultra Magnus, I don't have the figure anymore. Uh, it comes with some stock extension of the gun barrel. It's got a mini pistol, which you can obviously turn into a, a larger pistol or larger blaster. I think this one's best. And then he's got some extension, uh, I guess, for uh, as a barrel extension for a gun. This one's like a futuristic looking blaster pistol. Uh, he's got this weird looking gun. And this is actually, this is interesting. This is one of the new features. It's actually a gun that's, that doubles as a plug onto RC's um, back. So it's a back plug, I guess for RC or uh, or any of the uh, iterations of this mold, like Elita one. So you can plug her back like that. And this will allow you uh, to attach COG onto her. Now, just before we do that, there are two other accessories, which I'm not entirely sure what these are, but <laughs> these are some canisters, which could add effect. This could be an Energon or a Toxic uh, canister. And this one could be, again, more Energon, an Energon tube. You can actually... I suppose you can attach this onto a five millimeter peg, but it, it's very tight. I don't want to risk cracking it. So not too interested with these. Uh, you can assemble some rifles uh, con configuration. I suppose you can, uh, this, this just doesn't make sense. You got a suppressor on a already a long barrel, but you, you could actually do it if you wanted to. So Elita one was a like a sniper. So we could actually have her carry the longest <laughs> uh, configuration of the rifle. So, yep. And then RC could have the smaller pistols since she's used to carrying a smaller pistol. And then maybe another figure like Rodimus. Okay, maybe you can hold this. Yeah, okay. So you can hold that. And then, yeah, maybe RC can hold this other blaster right here. Okay, and going back to my point earlier, you can, it's the same function. There's nothing changed about uh, COGS uh, interface as a modular uh, figure. You can still um, have him in the same configurations you've had for other figures and all that. But the difference being is now you can actually plug him onto the back of figures like RC because of this new gun or or back back plug that that came with him so well, this is not the best way to do it but this is one way of, of doing it let me see if i can just put it all the way through her back uh, okay so yeah you can arm rc with uh <laughs> with cog because of that new plug Okay, can she stand? Yeah, she's got her big feet. Uh -huh. Yeah, I suppose you can, yeah, that looks okay. That's the main gimmick for this new COG. It's the same modular combination type of figure, but you get the new plug that allows you to combine him uh, with figures like RC or Elita One. It's actually pretty cool. I just don't know if it justifies double dipping into the mold. I mean, if you missed out on, on Siege Cog, then I, I suppose this is a the next best thing. Also, if, if you have the Brave Maximus repaint of Fortress Maximus, uh, I think that was a Takara Tomy 
uh, figure, exclusive figure, if you have that figure, then this is a nice companion piece since Cog is to Fortress Maximus and I guess this one would be for Brave Maximus. So it's a great figure all in all because of the accessories, but not necessarily something you know, you got to run out and get as soon as it's out uh, in your area. Uh, I get, like I said, it's only for those who missed out on COG. And if you have Brave Maximus, that'd be great. If you're interested in the weaponizer, um, is it worth getting on retail? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you should wait for it on clearance. Especially this is a store exclusive. I think it is a Target store exclusive. We don't have Target here in Manila. So hobby shops are going to be selling these. But it will have a higher price tag than your normal retailing, uh, than your normal retail price for a deluxe class figure. So uh, I would caution getting it right away. Uh, I would, normally I'd wait for it to go on clearance. So the figure is going to get a 8 out of 10. I think it's a, it, it's a pretty good weaponizer pack. Uh, it's a great upgrade kit for some of your figures uh, in the War for Cybertron trilogy and even the Generations line. Pretty good uh, as, as far as repaints go. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this new Red Cog and his weaponizer pack. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.